showering and now I am getting ready for my day. Yeah, today is kind of a busy day. I have to pick up my badge because I'm actually starting a new job. I am going to be working as a speech therapy assistant, also known as a slipper. Yeah, so I, I have some things, some errands to run for that. Um, I have to fill out some forms at their home office. And the reason why I wanted to start like a vlog, well, vlog content is to kind of mix my content on my channel. I also just want to give you guys an idea of who I am behind the camera and I think it's a fun way for me to also document, I mean hence the title, Navigating My Mid-20s, but yeah I'm excited to take you guys along with me. <laughs> simple. I just put on foundation, my eyebrow pencil, eyeliner, and some blush and there you go. I'm done. I just got home from- oh! I got home from um, just running errands and I got my ID for basically my job, my new job, and this is my ID. If you thought Melanie Wanders was my- Wanders was my last name, that's not true, so yeah. So I have to carry this with me wherever I go for- because like I have to drive to different um, school settings as well as different home locations. Yeah, I'm excited to finally get started with this job, which I'll start next week. Hey guys, um, I've been having a lot of thoughts about navigating my 20s as a 25 year old and what this means for me in this stage of my life where basically I spent the majority of my, like half of my 20s um, traveling a lot, you know, being in school and also not really know, like just not really knowing what I wanted to do in life. Yeah, I feel like 25 is, it's one of those ages or <laughs> numbers, I don't even know, that I was always scared scared of reaching because it felt like at 25 I have to do I have had to be super accomplished or I've had to like do so many things off of my bucket list when I was a high schooler and I just thought wow when I hit 25 like I'm gonna accomplish so many things and now that I'm actually this age it's not like that I realize it is so okay to just take things slow I'm really trying to slow down because in my early 20s I always put this internal pressure on myself to have everything figured out or to just keep grinding you know like the hustle culture that is so prominent nowadays I think that doesn't help in terms of my mental health and also it actually affects my productivity more because I am trying to multitask in so many different ways to you know just make the most of my time take advantage of my time and it just it could lead to burnout which I have experienced in the past so you guys have any tips to give to people who are in their 20s or things that you're learning in your 20s if you're in your 20s or if you're in your 30s and you wish that someone could have given you this advice in your 20s like comment down below because I would love to know and I'm sure someone out there would appreciate it as well also it looks like I haven't brushed my hair but I swear I have I don't know why my hair just looks so so dry <laughs> I also wanted to talk about my Etsy shop because I've noticed my Etsy sales are slowing down a lot. I've mentioned in some of my videos where I talk about how much I've made from my Etsy shop and how peak season is around the fall time. If you notice that your Etsy sales are slowing down, do not be discouraged. It's probably just, you know, the time of the season where people are just not really looking to buy products. I just want to encourage anybody out there that, that has kind of been feeling like, oh man, I'm not making any sales. Instead of kind of sitting in that discouragement and like being really sad, maybe...
yeah, I just want to encourage you guys to keep going with your side hustles or if you've been hesitating to start, like start it. If you have any questions, let me know. I do have to leave very soon. I'm going to be observing an SLP that is conducting speech therapy. And then after that, it is literally back to back because I have to tutor and then um, I have Bible study. Let's do this. This is, this is when I would use my stand-up desk. This is a very, very awkward angle, I know. Gosh, I had to rush home, traffic was really bad, but basically I have to tutor now, so I will talk to you guys soon. Today was a lot of driving, a lot of commuting, just a lot of running errands here and there. So, but I'm just gonna rewind for the rest of the night. Take, I have makeup on, but I'm literally breathing out so much. So I need to get, I need to like let my skin breathe. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, and if you want to see more vlog type of content, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, this was something different. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys later.